Do you turn up? Hi, it's Tuesday. You're watching Tasty Tuesday show where it's Tuesday trying to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. It's St. Patrick's Day this weekend. I know the weekend's like really far away because it's Tuesday, but it's St. Patrick's Day this weekend and so I thought we'd do a St. Patrick's Day dish because that's what we do on Tasty Tuesday. We capitalize on the algorithm. Yeah, St. Patrick's Day, okay? By the way, I spent the majority of this morning watching this girl do a cut crease eye makeup look with a bunch of crazy colors and then I spent the next hour realizing that I'm not a makeup artist, so you're welcome for that. What are we making? We are making an Irish stout stew today, which sounded amazing, mostly because of the Irish stout part, which is beer if you don't know. Is it an authentic Irish dish? I don't care. It has beer in it and we're making it. A little bit about St. Patrick. Basically, I tried to Google him beforehand and then I ended up going to Google and Googling why do flat earthers believe that instead because like I'll hear it out. Give me your best argument. But then flat earthers like didn't really give good arguments. Then I Googled an astronaut like filming the earth from outside of a rocket ship and I was like, oh, it's super round. Why didn't we just start here? Anyway, I didn't Google St. Patrick, but basically Ireland had this saint that they were like sleeping on and it America was like, we don't have a good binge drinking holiday after Valentine's Day and we need one. So we swooped up on St. Patrick and then Ireland was like, whoa, wait, we still like him. And so then now we all celebrate it. Woo, nailed it. Anyway, let's make this dish. Step one. Okay, so since this is a slow cooker recipe, the majority of doing this recipe is just prepping the ingredients. So I thought we'd prep the ingredients today like we used to do on Tasty Tuesday before I realized that you're supposed to prep ingredients before you start cooking. I learned, thank you for your comments. Here we go. We're gonna do one cup of diced onions. That's one medium onion or two small baby ones. I got a little tiny baby ones. Don't hate. Chop. Sometimes I swear to God, I do all the tricks to make you not cry when you cut onions. I keep them in the fridge. I cut with cold knife. I do all the things. I swear it gets so far in my brain. I feel hard when I cut onions. I don't know what to do about it. It's a problem. Anyway, one cup of diced onions. We did it. Four cups cubed gold potatoes. Diced. Boom, four cups of potatoes. Next, one cup diced parsnip and one and a half cups diced turnip. I've never used either of these. I don't know even which one is which. I think this one's a turnip. Do you turn up? <laughs> We're gonna go with it. Yay, St. Patrick's Day, when did we drink? All right, there's gonna be diced. Uh, wash the first, that's a good step. Am I supposed to peel this? What is this? I feel like I should peel this, but it doesn't say to peel it. Diced parsnip, no? Doesn't say. I'm not gonna peel it, but it, feel free to slaughter me in the comments if that's what you're supposed to do. Also this, am I supposed to peel this? What even are you? Ireland, man, you're weird. So, I'm gonna take a crack at dicing these. Maybe we start by cutting it in half. Oh, Jimmy, this is, go! St. Patrick's Day. These are really sharp knives too. I don't know what the deal is. Ooh, there we go, man. That was like Dumb and Dumber part two. Hard to get through. Ugh. Oh yeah, that's diced. Sweet. Dude, I'm killing it. What are you even? Turn up for what? I hope that just like one of each of these is enough. I didn't really think about that. Who? Oh. One and a half cups was like half a turn up. We turned up, but like only a little. It's still daytime. Next, you. One cup of this. Oh man, it smells like a carrot that kind of like did a workout. It smells like carrot sweat. I don't know. I hope I got the right ones for each of these. I hope that this one's the parsnip and that one was the turnip. Yeah, all right. So, about half of each one of these was the correct measurements for this stew. Cool, this is a lot of root vegetables. Everything else I don't really need to prep. I did prep three or 20 cloves of garlic, minced garlic, because my garlic mincer broke because it was like, I don't get paid enough for how much you use me, bitch. I'm so sorry, I'm not a bitch. So I hand minced this garlic, pretty cool. Did it before you, didn't tell you about it, so sorry. All right, now the fun stuff. We're gonna cook things, maybe. Maybe we should try that on Tasty Tuesday. We're gonna take a small saucepan. Also could be a medium saucepan, I don't know. We're going with it. Um, we're gonna heat this up. Please heat up. Thank you. Two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Um, we're supposed to like let the oil heat up before we add anything. I think it's hot. All right, cool. So we're just gonna cook some onions real quick before it slow cooks for six hours. Cause they're extra special. If they don't get special attention, then everybody cries. Here you go, onions. Look, dude. Take a bath in that oil. Man, I love the smell of cooked onions so much that sometimes I'm just like, we're done. Like we're done. Smell like did a good job already. Well, we'll keep going, I guess. Okay. 
it. Once your onions are all fragrant and translucent and smelling great, we're going to transfer them into the slow cooker. Oh, back up a little. The slow cooker. I still haven't gotten slow cooker liners because I keep forgetting because I really don't use this thing as much as I should. I'm so sorry. I love you. Oh, maybe I should have greased it. It's fine. And everything's fine. It's fine. Wait, carrots? Where did you say carrots? Oh shit, we were supposed to dice carrots? This is what happens when I don't prep before starting. All right, I gotta dice one cup of diced carrots, BRB. There, carrots, there it's. Put it in the slow cooker. I did peel those carrots, even though it didn't say to peel the carrots, but I felt very uncomfortable with them not being peeled in there. So, you know, there's a lot of things that I am comfortable with, but that is not one of them. I will not have an unpeeled carrot in my stew, but I will have an unpeeled whatever this is. I don't know what it is, because I don't know what to do with you. Anyway, all of this pile of stuff that we prepped, it's all going in there. You're all going in. Be friends, your friends. Get in touch with your roots. <laughs> Because they're all root vegetables. Okay. I don't dye my hair, so this is the only time that I'll ever see my roots get done. <laughs> I remember that one movie with all the slate. One cup dry split peas. I think I've ever used split peas before. These are a lot of firsts for me. Split peas. All that garlic I told you about, we should dump that in there. Get on in there. Maybe we need a utensil to make sure we don't skimp any garlic. We don't want to leave any garlic out. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. Very good. What else? Four cups of vegetable broth, which it says there is four cups in here, so we're just gonna put the whole thing in, cause math. Okay, now. Oops, well now it's four cups less a tablespoon. Not one, but two dry bay leaves. I wish bay would stay at least one of these times. But no, goodbye. One teaspoon of thyme, dried thyme. This thyme is actually expired. Time's up, but I just don't wanna take a time out. All these puns for time. We're gonna leave it in, just to give you a little bit of a chance to be in a meal. Maybe you'll do it well, I don't care. And that, is that it? No, no, no. One teaspoon of salt, and then in parentheses it says to taste, but like you already gave me a measurement, so I guess we'll start with one teaspoon. I did buy low sodium vegetable broth, so let's put some sodium back in there. Maybe some more, maybe more. Ooh, we like sodium so much. America, you know what else we love? Beer. One bottle of Guinness or one can of Guinness or another Irish stout that you prefer. I prefer Guinness. One whole bottle for the stew, and then one whole bottle for uh, you. <laughs> or me. Cheers! Happy St. Patrick's Day! Dude, Guinness tastes like chocolate. I love it. And lastly, pepper to taste. Probably. Steve's gonna add a whole bottle of pepper to this anyway when he eats it, so I'm not gonna be worried about it too much. That's good. Alright, stir that all up. Like a big freaking party. These roots are doing keg stands in here. I like my veggies like I like my life. Drunk. Wow, these turnips are getting turned up. Who knew? I didn't even think of that. It's like we manifested you a good time, turn up. All right, I think that's enough stirring. Cool. We're gonna put that on low for six hours. However, the last half hour to 60 minutes, we can add a cup of chopped green cabbage. We'll get there when we get there. I'm gonna clean my whole entire house. You won't even recognize me or my house. It'll look pretty much the same. It's just gonna look a little cleaner. I'm talking about cleaning my house so I don't have to clean my house. I'll see you in six hours. Hello, do you recognize me or my house? Thank you. We got about 40 minutes left on this baby. We're gonna add a cup of chopped green cabbage and look at that, I prepped it already. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I did it without you. I'm so I'm so sorry. It's okay. I'll insert someone else chopping cabbage right here. And then we're gonna cut our cabbage into sections like that. There, you didn't miss it. Okay, great, cool. We're gonna add this to the stew. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. I don't know if it's the turnip or the parsnip or the potatoes. This is a generous smell right here going on. So I'm just gonna stir that in there and then I'll be on my merry way. This doesn't even seem close to done though. Oh wow, that carrot is still crunchy. Hopefully you're a stew soon. A stew. See you in 40 minutes. And I dare you to try to recognize me. I dare you, 40 minutes. Okay, it's been 40 minutes and we are going to see if this Irish stout stew is tasty. Oh my goodness, it smells amazing. I wish it didn't taste so long <laughs> to make. Wow, really destroyed that delivery. Anyway, that was stupid. <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day, are you drunk yet? Cool, not me. Oh, sober. Oh my gosh, are these even done? These root vegetables seem quite rooty still. Let me test it with a fork. Oh no, it's good, it's good. Oh my God, no spoilers, okay. I'm trying to get me to say if it's tasty or not. Um, you can wait. All right, cool, yay. So let's just see if it's tasty. Um, happy St. Patrick's Day. Hope you're wearing green. 
Oh shit, I took my green off. Damn. It's okay, everyone's fine. Let's go taste this and see if it's tasty. This is a very traditional Irish stout stew. Very traditional. Everyone in Ireland is eating it right now. All of the people. I can't wait, this smells so good. I wish I had bread to go with this. Oh, I fucked up. All right, let's see if it's tasty. This dude has been so cranky and so hungry. I'm hungry, boy. Are uh, you wearing green? No. He's not wearing green either. Okay, I won't pinch if you don't pinch. My friend Richard started this company, so I'm supporting him. That's cool, that's a nice friendship. Thanks. Do you even wanna know what this is? Yeah. It's an Irish stout stew for St. Patrick's Day. It smells really good. Yay. Have you had anything like this before? We've had an Irish stew before, but it was yeah. different. Thought this so. one has turnips and parsnips in it. I've never had either of those things. Let's give it a go, huh? Yeah, Tasty Tuesday Man in his natural habitat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wish I had some bread to go with it. Though we do have a recipe for Irish soda bread that we did one year for Tasty Tuesday. So you could look that up if you want some bread. Interesting, hold on. Well, you don't like it? I don't want you to taste it. Just taste it before I render a verdict. Oh, the peas are kind of crunchy. Is that what you're gonna say? No. I think everything else tastes really good. Do you taste dirt at all? No. Like the potatoes have dirt on them? No, I scrub them. Maybe it's the beer. It's not a potato. Oh, what is it? That's one of the turnip or parsnip things. Whoa. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like, I don't it. like those things. I don't like those. I'm just gonna eat the potatoes. Yeah. My first bite was potato. My second bite was one of those things. So that's my thing is like, I like it initially and then that taste takes over when it's there. Yeah, I don't know which one it is. Those added root vegetables, not a fan. We're not fans. No, we don't We're like it. We're not fans of that. We don't like the root vegetables. Um, we could drown it out with some Guinness beer. There you go. Not sponsored, but hi. Guinness. Hello. Yeah, I would say that it's like partially like tasty until, yeah, exactly, until the, that takes over. See, so it's not the beer. It's not the beer. Yeah, I don't really like those vegetables either. Maybe I was supposed to peel them or something. Um, it didn't say in the recipe, and I've never used those vegetables before. Yeah. But let us know in the comments if you've ever used them. Which veggies are they? Parsnips and turnips. I peeled the carrots. I'm pass on par parsley and turnips. Parsnips. Parsnips and turnips, bro. Yeah, I don't like it. I keep getting bites of it. Me too. I keep getting bites of it, and I don't like I don't, it. I don't like these vegetables. No. Nah. I'm a huge vegetable fan, too. We think I'm a the huge same. vegetable you and fan. Me are the same. Yeah, that's true. Except I don't drown my food in hot sauce. But if other had, than that, if you had the stones to do it, the stones, the kidney stones, exactly, <laughs> you would love it. Uh -huh. But you don't have the taste buds to do it. I but, don't. It, but you would love it. I think you would oh, if you had those. If I, ha if I had them, if I, I had the taste buds that love hot sauce, I'm sure I would love it. I do think that. All right, well, um, make this or don't make this. I think the broth is very tasty. So it is good. The maybe broth is good. Um, if you do like parsnips and turnips, maybe you would like this. If you don't, I would just suggest putting other vegetables in there, like zucchini or. Put arugula or some shit, you know? No, that's not. No. You know what I mean? No, Put broccoli. Broccoli is good. We tried though. They're not always tasty, okay? No. That's why it's only sometimes. It works. This is a 0.5 tasty. But what a letdown after six hours. <laughs> it's true. And after smelling this aroma for so long and being so stoked, it's a goddamn shame. Anyway, thank you for watching. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this. And happy St. Patrick's Day. Kiss me, I'm Irish.